What's going on YouTube? Uh, hope y'all been doing amazing. Hope y'all been working towards what y'all want to work towards. Hope y'all been concentrating your energy, your forces, your your mental thought towards being better, to becoming the best version of yourselves and achieving what you put your mind to. Truly. I really hope y'all been taking time to really develop yourselves, really fully delve into the, the universe in a sense and understand and live in the moment, live in the experience that we call life. Uh, that's what that's with all power, that's with all greatness. I, I wish that upon y'all. All I really want to say today is that today I lost my phone charger. I lost my phone charger. I didn't have my phone all day. I didn't have anything there to, I would say, guide me in a sense. I didn't have the time. I didn't have the weather. I didn't have my social media apps. I didn't have you guys. I couldn't check my statistics. I didn't have none. So I, eventually, after I gave up trying to look for my, my phone charger, I went and bought a new phone charger. And in that walk, I swear to God, it was the most peaceful walk of my life to go buy that phone charger. It was just me and me. It was just me and my thoughts in this world. And it's something that I rarely experience. I feel over consumed by the digital media, by social media, by my phone, by text messages, by everything that my, my brain goes to on these addictive, highly addictive uh, technologies. I feel over over stimulated and over consumed on all of this so it was a different break it allowed me to look at it and be like and hey, maybe you don't need this you know maybe you don't need this there are certain things that I do need like an, an alarm but yeah in that sense I could go get an alarm I would need a printer yeah like a, a scanner something to scan papers because I use my phone for that so in that sense for school I could use I could use my get a printer from home um like back home where, where my parents live type so in a sense it was eye-opening it was extremely eye-opening and i'm grateful for the experience and i, I really wish for y'all to take a moment put your phone down and look at life for what it is i know i did not experience that like as grave as it may sound it wasn't too too serious in any sense i know i did not experience that for no reason i know there's a reason behind it all so I just want to share that with you guys. I want you guys to take something from that. And I want you guys to move forward as well with me. I want to build a collective where, where we all push forward, where we all become our best selves, and we all grow and evolve in this life. Also, there is summer weather where I am right now. So in that sense, I woke up today and it hit me off guard to the happiness of, of summer, in a sense. Um, how, how beautiful summer really is. And how open my heart is to love in a sense, how love is a, is a beautiful thing, like the infatuation into another can be a beautiful thing. Uh, not full infatuation in any sense, but more so the, the caring for another person, the adventure of another person, the company of another person. Um, as beautiful as it may sound, somebody that can encompass my own inner workings, my own methodologies my own experience and help me boost myself help me grow myself and help me accomplish much more and how beautiful a summer relationship really would be and that's not me manifesting any sense but it probably is and i've been telling people don't let me get in a relationship because if i do it's, it's game over um but yeah i just wanted to put that out there as well um so i really hope you all continue growing take a moment to look at yourself without your phone see what you really are see the creature that you become um look at life for what it is continue eating healthy Think happy thoughts, stay off the porn, and, and grow. Grow as a person. Uh, I love y'all. Take care.